Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Pink Blue West, and today I'm going to be doing a duct tape challenge. So basically, how this challenge is going to work is that I have to make a duct tape bifold wallet, um, but I cannot use any tools. So I can't use a pair of scissors, I cannot use an X-Acto knife, and I cannot use a ruler. So I flip my cutting board upside down, and also this is not a voiceover. Um, just so you guys can get my real reaction. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay. So, I'm just gonna have to guess about how much, uh, like, 8 inches is. Uh, I feel like that's too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is tricky. And then, I don't even know if I can rip this. I may have to use a pair of scissors just to rip it. Okay, that's technically cheating, but it's okay. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna try to rip the pieces, but if I can't, I'll just have to use the scissors just to cut a tiny slit. So I sort of did it, but um, then it ripped in half. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try it anyway. Okay, hang on, there's like a piece of hair in the tape, okay. Oh my gosh, okay, um, how am I gonna do this? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna try to like piece it together, kind of, like that. Oh, that was not enough room to fold it over. Okay. Now, what am I gonna do about this extra? I guess I have to fold it, but I'll do that later. Okay. So, now I'm just flip this over. Alright. And then I also have to figure out how far down I need to go because I haven't made a build for a while for actually a little while like a few months so I don't even really remember like about how many pieces of tape it is or anything like that okay also I hope this is even really getting recorded because I had to put the camera at a different angle because of where the sun is right now. So hopefully this is on camera. And this is gonna sound really bad, but it's actually turning out better than I thought it would. So I had very low expectations and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I think that is enough. So I'm just gonna fold this edge over. Um, and I don't know what we're going to do about these edges. I think maybe what we should do is put some tape on the sides so that then it uh, has a rounded edge. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. I just did with a pair of scissors. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, um. This is just 
small and too short. Okay, don't put your nail polish. Add your nail set. We're gonna put it on the inside. We're just gonna go like this. I've done this way a couple of times. It's not my favorite, but it's kind of how I fix anything that has too much stickiness on the inside, just like that. And then we'll tape the outside. Oh wow, okay, that's pretty wrinkly, and it's pretty uneven, but we're gonna have to work with it. Okay, so now, let me see, I think this is gonna be the inside. I don't think I'm gonna make an ID slot because uh, I can't really work with clear tape because it's very... Like it doesn't have the strings, so you can't really rip it. You kind of have to cut it. So I'll just make card pockets. I think I'm going to use two card pockets on each side. Just regular ones. Okay, so here's two. Alright, so we have four card pockets. They're a little bit short, but they're easy access pockets. That's what we're gonna say they are. Alright, and then we're gonna put... Oh. Okay. We're gonna put two on each side, and hopefully they fit, because... Oh no. I don't know how I'm gonna make them fit. I can't rip that. Um... I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna make this work. And then, because it's so thin, we can just fold it over like that. Maybe we should have used a whole piece of tape for this instead of half, but anyway. Okay, so let's now fold this one in just a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work, but... Honestly, this is kind of a waste of tape. I don't know what I'm going to do with this wallet. I mean, all my beginning wallets look like this, so... And those were with tools, so... And those are just sitting around somewhere. Okay, let's it. There we go. And then we can use this piece of tape to kind of fix this inside over here. It's kind of messed up. Let's see if this makes it better. I don't think it did, but that's okay. Alright. The edges are very thick and messed up. This wall is just very like thick in some places and then thin in others. It's very strange. Okay, now let's stick this. Now let's stick down the bottom pieces. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm missing something, but I think we're done. Okay. Wow. Alright, so let's just look through. So first of all, I'd like to be able to clear tape it. Honestly, I may be able to actually fix it by just like cutting off the sides and redoing the sides and clear taping it. It's actually not terrible, except for the sides. That's where it really got mixed up. It's just, oh, that wrinkling, it's, it's, 
it's perfect absolutely perfect look at it's so wrinkly and thick it's like but actually the rest of it's not too bad like i said if i just clear taped it it wouldn't be a major issue um oh wait actually we need to make sure that pockets fit i don't feel like doing that okay here i'm gonna get my card and see if they fit okay so i have my card here they don't fit but i think that if i uh here, let me get my scissors. I think that if I just cut the sides, it's technically cheating, but I kind of finished. I'm just fixing it up now. Yeah, I wonder if I could actually make this wallet work. Like, I think that if I, like I said, if I clear taped it and just fixed the sides, I think that the sides would need like a lot of work. I think I'd have to just completely cut them off. But yeah, look, it actually fits. Um, I guess I should measure it and see if I was good on the size or if it was too big or too small. I mean, it couldn't have been too small because the card pockets are the correct size and like, they're, they're all the correct size. So I don't know, maybe too, uh, too big but I actually think I did pretty well on the size yeah so let's see okay so size wise yeah actually I didn't do too bad it's right under eight inches as far as size was that's, that's honestly more correct than my wallets with tools but um yeah I'm really bad with sizing wallets but anyway, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Click the little bell to get notified as soon as I post a video. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.